Hi guys, um, welcome to the third part of this JavaScript templating series. All right. So in this video, we're going to have a look at what JSON is. So since I've been babbling about JSON all a while long, let's actually have a look and understand what it is and how we can use it in this tutorial. All right. So before we actually do that, let me just show you basically what this HTML page contains. So we have a style.css at the top here. So that's what we'll be using to style our page. And down here we we need jQuery. So go ahead and get yourself some jQuery. And then next, um, we'll be having a look in the next video of how to get underscore since we've never done that. As for jQuery, if you don't know how to get it, have a look at my previous videos. Um, I've shown it several times how to go to their page and download it and include it in your HTML page. Okay. And pagination.js as well. Um, I'll explain how you can include that. And that's with, that's a plugin that I made in a simple jQuery pagination tutorial that I did previously. And I'll show you exactly how to include that in this. It needs some modification so we can add it to this page. So I'll explain that in a sec. And as for the custom.js, that's a custom JavaScript file. So go ahead and create a JavaScript file in a JS folder and call it custom.js and include it in your page. All right, so let's have a look at the custom.js. All right, so inside custom.js, we have one JavaScript variable um, called list of contacts and it has several array, I, it has several objects inside an array. So it's one big array with uh, many objects and each object represents a contact. So this is one object, this is two, second object, third, fourth, and we have about, I think, 15 objects or so so it doesn't really matter how much you have as long as you have a reasonable size object and don't worry about it jQuery dom dot ready we'll have a look at that in later videos okay so basically what I want you to have a look at and pay attention to is this inside an object so if you don't know what a JavaScript object is JavaScript object is basically something that has properties inside of it so this is one object, as I said, and it has properties. It's a, it has a e property called email with a value of Seinfeld at Stephen.com. And it has another property of number with value of this. All right. So basically, that's what properties are. So when what I actually wanted you to understand is what JSON is. So when you make an Ajax call, usually JavaScript returns, uh, that Ajax call returns a value to you. And the value is usually in this format. So this is what JSON is. Usually the JSON comes in this way. It's a string and the value is also a string. But when you want to make use of JSON inside your JavaScript, you tell your JavaScript to pass it. And then when it passes it, it removes the string in from the name of the property. So we're not going to get into how to pass JSON into JavaScript object, but just do know that when you get JSON, it has a string in the property name. But when you pass it in JavaScript, you get an object property without the string. All right. So we'll be, if you notice the template that we looked at last time, we're going to pass it this list of contacts. And let's say we pass it list of contacts. So when it loops through, these properties that you see in here, email, number, name, image URL, and address, we'll be slotting those inside of these areas that we had coded right now, okay? So actually, let's do that right now. And um, so let's assume that we've actually called this um, function, sorry, this template here, and then passed it this list of contacts. So first, what we want to populate is the image URL. So since um, this, let me show you. Since this function over here will have a single contact in every time the loop comes in, we're just going to say image slash, and then let's just give it this value here. Let's remove the value that we've had coded. And as you notice, if we want to be in underscore mode, again, we have to open the angle brackets and close them as well. So we say contact dot image URL okay all right so basically what what that means is it means for a single contact get me the property which a value of image URL okay all right so next what we're going to be having a look at is the address so since we had coded this as well we're actually going to go inside the property here and say and have a look at the address name that we need and it's called address so we're going to say open bracket as well angle brackets close it again and I'm going to say contact dot 
address all right so yeah next we have a look at the email and it's called email so we're going to do the same so since we're going to use it in two places we have to write it in two places open angle bracket close and contact.email and we're going to do the same let's just copy this and paste it here all right so next is the number let's have a look at what that's called so it's called number just copy that and come inside here and just remove the hard coded one and just paste what we have contact the number all right so i actually have noticed something like in here if you notice the um angle brackets that we're using is just open and the percentage sign and then close and percentage sign and then the closing angle bracket so if you are executing some code with which you don't expect to output value you don't you, this is what you this is where you put the code in between these two over here but if you're expecting to output a value like as in here you need to add an equal to sign here and let's add equal to sign to all of them so that they will output the values that we expect and in the email here as well so yeah so we'll we've, we've done that and one last but not the least let's output the name as well so since let's see what it's called so it's called name it's going out HTML and do this last one equal to percentage this so it's called contact dot name okay all right so let's just have one quick look see if we haven't forgotten anything all right so it seems like we haven't so there you have it guys that's uh, that's what JSON is JSON is just basically an array of objects in JavaScript and that's what you use to simulate um, object notation as in other languages like Java and C++ and that's where you store your data so there you have it guys thanks for watching this video and in the next video we'll be having a look at how to get um, underscore from their website so that we can um, just run this templating engine and see what it outputs all right and thanks for watching guys and if the, if you're enjoying these videos and it's helpful please rate and subscribe and comment and um, i'll see you in the next video all right thanks for watching bye bye